Now let's continue some more examples of finding slopes. Our second task was where is it vertical? Where is the tangent vertical? And so we're going to be looking for where there's no horizontal motion. Uh, but there is vertical motion. Now, one thing I want to mention is that if this cusp here, the cusp, it's not got a nice tangent line, but you could kind of be up, to, uh, be kind of generous and say that it looks like it's kind of approaching a vertical tangent line. I would not want to characterize that cusp point as anything that has a particularly nice tangent line. Uh, Stuart has an example where he calls that a vertical tangent situation. I would not be super, um, I would not say that's a really great way to describe it. It's a cusp, it's just more complicated. Um, so we're, we're, I'm going to disallow anything where these are both zero um, on the grounds that it really requires more analysis. Not that you can't analyze it, but it's more analysis than, than I want to do. So um, now we're looking at the denominator equals zero. Well, you can take out the minus signs. Again, this was a lovely way to write this formula, and this will be great if we just plug in into theta, like in our, our part three, uh, but it's it's a mismatch between the arguments of the, of the trig functions, and so it's not so great. Now, however, um, I don't want to expand this back out in terms of cosine squared minus sine squared, because then there's a mismatch between what kinds of trig functions we're talking about. I want to use the fact that this is also one minus two sine squared theta. That's an alternate version of double angle. which is awfully handy. Now that's a quadratic in sine theta. Okay, so in fact, it's going, and it factors. That's pretty lucky for us that it does. Um, let's actually uh, flip the signs because that's, I find that to be, I, f I find it to be particularly confusing when the leading coefficient in front, in front of the quadratic is negative. Okay, and so that's going to be two sine theta, hopefully, times sine theta, okay, equal, all equals zero. And so we need to get a constant term here and here. Well, they have to multiply to be one, and hopefully they're just both equal to one. So let's try it. Let's see if that, or to be minus one rather. If that's plus one and that's minus one, we get a plus sine theta here and a minus two sine theta. Aha, they do create a minus. Okay, so not a lot of trial and error there. Now, I have to say, it's really lucky that this works out so simply. It, it's not a it's not an obvious thing that's going to work out so nice and it's going to factor otherwise you'd get quadratic formula you'd get uh, square roots and then inverse sines of square roots it'd be pretty ugly but this is actually pretty nice okay so either sine theta equals minus one half or sine theta equals one aha wait a minute though sine theta equals one that's where we're going up to we're going over to pi over two that's that cusp point so that's something I would say, hey, cusp, warning, interesting, great, but not some really nice tangent line to the curve. Sine theta equals minus one half is going to be theta equals uh, seven pi over six or 11 pi over six. And so this is not an incredibly good graph. And one of the things this tells us is how to fix our graph. It tur turns out that going this way, that's where that vertical tangent is. So it's actually already on its way back in. So here's where the vertical tangent is. It's already somewhat on its way back in by the time it hits the x-axis. I kind of drew it as if it was at its max, uh, its furthest right or left at the x-axis. But this is a little more accurate. We're at 7 pi over 6 or 11 pi over 6. That's where those vertical tangents are. So that's interesting. If you didn't have a nice graph of this, or even if you're looking at a graph and you're like, hmm, am I looking at this right? Is it actually a little further to the right here than it is when it crosses the x-axis? I wonder if I can show that. That's where this information would be actually quite useful. Um, I'll, finish the, I'll just finish with this part, and uh, we'll do the other part in the next video.